Hi and welcome to Midspace. If you're organising a co-located event, workshop or main, the main conference of ICSI 2022, this video will explain to you the live streaming mode. Live streaming mode is being used only for very large events, such as keynotes that attract more than 250 viewers at once. Um, so most sessions will be using video chat mode. Live streaming mode this year is only being used for very, very large audiences where you'll exceed the capacity of video chat. I've already gone ahead and set up a live stream event, and I'm going to go and demonstrate for you now how that works. There have been some changes since last year, so you will see improvements. In the main interface, you'll now find the My Backstages list underneath your profile in the top right corner, where you can then see the live streams that you're scheduled to participate in. Only the chairs, presenters, and conference organizers get access to the backstage. You'll receive access to the backstage if you've been listed as a speaker in the import template provided you've been given an email address and that that speaker is then linked to a registrant. You can find more information about that in our documentation at resources.midspace.app. I'm going to go ahead and go to my backstage now. Backstages are open 20 minutes in advance in the room where the event is scheduled. I can turn on my camera. Hello. I can unmute if I want to and get an audio preview as well. I'm going to leave myself muted for now. I then connect to the backstage where I can see the same kind of video chat controls as I would in a normal uh, video chat room, except also with the backstage information above. Now, in this scenario, please know that if you can connect to a video chat room, you will also be able to connect to the backstage. So we encourage presenters, chairs, organizers, anyone that's due to speak to join a social room ahead of their event any social room will do, demo room, to practice uh, with their camera and practice with their microphone and their screen share. Okay, I'm gonna connect back into the backstage. In the backstage, we have some information about how it works and then below is the main backstage area. When the stream starts, you'll see a preview of the stream. If there's been a pre-recorded video that you've played out, people that are in the backstage will be able to see that pre-recorded uh, video play out as part of the stream in the top left corner. The stream preview has a lag. The lag is the same as the audience lag, so when, but, but you should basically ignore it. As a presenter, when the backstage says you're live, it means you're actually live and everyone can see and hear you. If you sit around backstage saying, am I live, am I live, and waiting, there is just going to be dead space and wasted time in your session because it takes, as with any streaming system, there is a lag between what you say and it going through the media pipeline, through the content delivery network and being delivered to attendees that then watch the stream. As such, when you see the stream preview, that has the same lag as what the attendees see. So all the time that you're sat there waiting for someone to confirm that you're live in the chat is just wasted time. When the backstage says you're live, you are live. Our tech support is here to make sure that all the streams are working properly and we can pick up on things faster than the audience can. So just when it says you're live, go ahead, start your session and the audience will re start responding in chat uh, as and when you ask a question to them or encourage them to. You get the same layout controls as you do in video chat mode, along with the screen share, microphone and camera controls. At the top is your counter. Just like last year, Streaming timings are strict. Uh, when the timer reaches zero, you'll go live. And then when the timer reaches zero again, uh, you'll then be off air. You also have the ability to choose a different input. So if you want to swap to the filler video, if you're having problems backstage, uh, you can swap to essentially the filler video, which uh, enables you to, take, to, to play out just the waves uh, or whatever the video that we have. Um, while you try to fix any problems backstage and then you can switch back to the live input or you can choose to play out a video that's been uploaded to the platform. This year we're encouraging everyone to use what we call presentation mode where you have a live presentation scheduled and your chair can choose from the drop down to select to play out a video. We're encouraging you to use a single presentation event for an entire session and if you need to play out videos one person selects them from the drop down and clicks play. We recommend you either have a tech support person uh, from your team, a volunteer, on hand to do that, or you get the chair uh, to be in control. Don't rely on presenters 
uh, to click it themselves. If you click to play multiple times, it will restart the video and then the audience will be like, it started playing and then it restarted. Why? Because someone clicked it multiple times. So in the top left corner, I can now enable the stream preview in my backstage. This is individual to me, to my view. Um, and I can see that the stream is playing out the filler video, which is just the, the beach scene that we have. By default, this is muted when you're actually connected to the backstage so that you don't get a kind of audio feedback loop. We highly recommend that people use uh, earbuds or headphones uh, when in the backstage to avoid that kind of feedback. If you're on low bandwidth, you can also disable the stream preview to ensure that your uh, connection is at maximum quality. Swapping then into the attendee view, we can see here that in the attendee view, I get warned that the live stream will be starting in the room soon. Soon, Much like in a physical venue, this means that the live stream is the activity that's going to take place in the room, and any other activity that's happening is going to be uh, brought to a close. Okay, we can see we've got 15 seconds now until the stream goes live, and we'll see the same thing backstage. Four, three, two, one. And I'm now live. I should now start talking. I want to stress again that there's some lag. So as I go into the attendee view, they're still seeing the stream. It's going through the streaming pipeline. It's going through the content delivery network. Uh, it's making its way through all of that infrastructure to reach the attendees. And now with that bit of lag, we can now see me uh, as I am in the backstage uh, a few seconds ago. Okay, that's the live streaming mode. Uh, people switch between backstages, between different events by exiting a backstage. If you're a presenter and you're brought into a backstage uh, and then you want to be able to watch the stream as attendees do without using the stream preview, you can exit the backstage as I just did. Click watch live stream and watch it from there. Thank you for watching.